Valorant devs were great at making the game, but not so good when it came to naming the errors. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Added or Technology, and in this video we're talking about Valorant Error Code 43. If you're trying to play Valorant and you're getting error code 43, this means there is a good chance that there is something off with your internet connection. Now, before we start troubleshooting this video, I want to ask you one thing. Take an ethernet cable, plug one end of it into your router and the other end into your laptop or your PC or your console or whatever it is that you're using to play Valorant. Ethernet connections are always better than wireless ones. You get better latency, better stability, better download and upload speeds and you're just going to have a better time and make a better use of your internet connection. Once you're done with that, also try restarting your router, making sure your internet is working and uh, things like that. Once you're done with all of this, now we can move on to the actual troubleshooting. In which case, the first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to uh, delete Valorant data. So how are we going to do that? Well. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is press windows key plus r to open the run prompt and we're going to go to the app data folder using this command click ok this should open uh, the app data folder now we're going to go to local and we're going to find riot games in here it's right here double click on riot games now head over to riot client then go to data and just delete the whole thing like just delete this entire data folder or you can delete all the files inside the data folder and once you're done with this restart the riot client and it should automatically generate this this helps clearing out in any corrupt data or caches that might be causing problems for the game the next step is to update your network drivers now depending on whether you're using wi-fi or ethernet and how old are your drivers you could be facing software problems on that front so what we are going to do is we are going to right click on our start menu and head over to device manager. In device manager, we are going to find our network adapters, which should be right here. Double click to expand and bring it in better view. And as you can see, I have uh, my internet Intel Wi-Fi adapter and then my IPv6, WAN mini ports and everything. I don't have an ethernet cable on this uh, ethernet connection on this laptop at the moment and there is no ethernet port so there is no ethernet in here there's only wi-fi so right click this click on update driver select let windows automatically search for drivers and windows will automatically find and install whatever the best driver for you at the moment for example my drivers are already up to date and that's a good sign just to make sure that your drivers are up to date and there is no problem on the connectivity front The next thing you're going to do is that we are going to flush our windows dns cache this is also extremely easy to do just press uh, right click the start menu and click on windows powershell admin or windows terminal admin whatever you see in that corner and now in here what we're going to do is we're going to run a simple command it's called ipconfig slash flush dns press enter this flushes your windows dns resolver cache just to make sure that any problems that might be caused because of some corrupt or old file in some cache of your internet connection just gets cleared out so it just gives you a better internet connection upfront is a helpful thing to resolve such problems next up we are going to check vanguard services so vanguard needs to run in the background um, so you can play valorant uh, competitively because it's the anti-cheat so we are going to press the windows key to bring up the search bar and we're going to search for services click on this to open now in here we are going to search for the vanguard service so keep scrolling until we reach v i assume yes and it's right here vgc so it isn't very well described for whatever reason but as you can see the startup type is manual and the service isn't running at the moment so just right click it and then click on start or you can double click it set the startup type to automatic so just so it starts up every time your pc starts up and then you can start the service manually by clicking this button right here once you're done go ahead and click on apply then click on ok and then go launch valorant next up we are going to try administrator and compatibility settings for valorant so for this the first thing that you need to know is where you've installed your game 
in my case i have it on my d drive under games then riot games then valorant then live and here is my valorant.exe file now i'm going to right click it head over to properties head over to compatibility and now you have two of things you can do here number one is that you can run valorant in compatibility mode this is suggested by a lot of users and this seems to work i don't know why this would work but it does so uh, you can try doing that alternatively you can come here and uh, check on disable full screen optimizations and run this program as an administrator just to give valorant a little bit more control over your system so that it can use the resources it needs and not run into problems once you're done go ahead and click apply click ok start valorant and the problem should be gone Next up, we're going to try a clean boot. Now, a clean boot makes sure that your Windows only opens up with the services that it needs instead of, uh, you know, the 500 other background services that start with it that can sometimes interfere with other services such as Valorant or Vanguard trying to run. So what we're going to do is press the start menu and we are going to search type in MS config. Actually, this will open up the system configuration option. We're going to click this now head over to services uh, the first thing that we're going to do in here is uh, that we are going to check hide all microsoft services just so we don't accidentally close any service that's required for windows to run properly and now you can see a list of all the th third parties of stuff that starts with your system so your steam client audio universal drivers uh, the vanguard service as you can see vgc right here um, background softwares epic games battle i any desk whatever 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 what we're going to do is we're going to click on disable all click apply and then click ok and now restart your system once your system restarts keep in mind that you may not have full functionality as not all background apps are running just to make sure uh, so you start up valorant again if the game doesn't run um, of course move on to the other solutions but if it does chances are some of your background apps are causing conflicts so you're going to have to do some digging on your own to figure out which one it is and either delete it replace it or just don't run it when you're playing valorant now the last thing that you can do to fix this problem is to reinstall valorant and the easiest way to do that is right clicking your start menu icon and heading over to installed apps giving this a second to load searching for valorant clicking these three dots clicking uninstall windows will give you a warning ignore the warning click uninstall again and let windows do its thing once the uninstallation is complete head back over to riot's website to get uh, the new updated client download it use Valor use it to install valorant again and that should fix your issue if you like these videos consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website candid.technology follow us on social media follow me on instagram and twitter and we'll see you in the next video